A color scheme in painting is when we take a particular set of colors from the color wheel and just use those for the painting. Um, but you know, different value relationships, but just those three colors. And I'm not going to talk about the variety of color schemes um, that are out there. You can Google artistic color schemes and get all the varieties of color schemes, and they do a good job of explaining them. You know, different websites. So there's a lot of information out there to learn about what color schemes are. Um, what I want to talk about is how I use them to to uh, help my painting. Um, and I use them pretty much for two purposes. One is to experiment with the colors on my palette. Uh, forces me to use colors that I might not use ordinarily together. So similar to a color chart. Instead of a color chart where all you're doing is squares, mixing colors together from the palette. Um, here I'm doing a painting mixing colors together or a certain combination of colors together that I wouldn't ordinarily use. So it gives you good experience on mixing different colors on your palette. Um, and the other is to help me think outside the box when I'm looking at a reference especially I'm thinking in terms of um, what colors work best or what colors I'm gonna I can use in my particular color scheme to suggest the light. And if I'm using a color scheme again, I can't just look at the photograph and try and copy it. So this helps you get away from copying the photograph um, outright and think through value, temperature, and then color. And with a color scheme, you know, you only have basically three choices for color. Uh, so the value becomes a lot more important and the temperature becomes important. Uh, and the color less so. Then when you're done with the painting, all the colors within that picture frame will work. Even if your sky is orange and your trees are purple, if the values are right, they'll harmonize and they'll they'll read as, as true um, colors. It'll look uh, real as opposed to uh, kind of a bizarre color scheme. Uh, and again, that's all predicated on having the values correct um, and all the colors harmonizing from your from your color scheme. So uh, one color scheme I use a lot of when I'm painting, I use um, um, triadic color schemes a lot. One is yellow, orange, and blue and violet. Um, split complementary. I think I might have said triadic. Uh, this is a split complementary, and that's you know you pick the complement: yellow, orange, blue, violet. Uh, but you use on one of them colors on either side, so the complement is split. So, what I also like about the color schemes it forces me to think in terms of tertiary colors a lot instead of just primary, secondary. Tertiary colors are more natural. There's not too much in nature that is just blue or red or yellow or even green, orange, or violet. It's usually yellow, orange, or red, orange, blue, violet, yellow, green. Um, those are more natural colors, and then when you mute them with each other, you get even more natural looking colors. So, gets me thinking outside the box, which is probably the most important thing, especially using references, because references, we, we look at the photograph as reality, and um, it's so easy and simple just to mix until you, copy, until you match what you see, and you end up just copying the photograph. Uh, but I want to think <clears throat> in terms of what what's the best use of my colors on the palette, not necessarily what the photograph gives me. Photograph is just the starting place. This is a uh, uh, church in uh, New Mexico, outside of Albuquerque a little ways. And um, the light's very nice. The colors actually are pretty nice too. A, a, more of a, an analogous yellow, yellow-orange, orange, orange uh, yellow-green color scheme works real good, but when I pick a different color scheme, it forces me to think differently other than what I see in the photograph. And also, again, forces me to mix colors I wouldn't ordinarily use. So, uh, for the painting here, the color scheme I used is a secondary color scheme. So, I didn't use any blue, red, or yellow. I used violet, green, and orange. And I'm thinking in terms of 
value first, you know, the value of the upright trees, value of the flat plane, value of the slanted roof, the sky plane, those four planes, it's more important that I simplify the shapes to those large planes and get the right value relationship between them. Then I want to think in terms of temperature. Keeping the uh, sunlit lighter areas warmer, the shadows cooler, especially as things recede, I want to see those in terms of cooler colors. So I'm, I'm thinking through the idea of pushing more blues, I'm sorry, violets and greens, a little bit of orange in the background, but the violet predominating forces everything back. And in the foreground, the oranges uh, with some green and violet brings things forward. So everything in this painting has orange, green, and violet in it, um, but one predominates. So in the sky, I guess the orange and the green, or maybe the green predominates. The orange warms it up. And the violet kind of mutes it. In the trees, it's green with some violet and a little orange. And the trees, of course, are orange, little green, and a touch of violet to mute them. So always thinking in terms of using all three colors, but having one predominate. And a lot of broken color. Not, there's not just, um, again, not... There's no place that's one particular color. Maybe the highlights on the orange tree are more orange, but um, a little bit of the other two colors in the color scheme helps harmonize even, even more. But I'm thinking more in terms of simplifying the shape, getting the right value, um, than the temperature. And then whatever color I use really doesn't matter. And I don't have much of a choice anyway. I'm using those three and it gives me a good feel of what I can do when I use secondary colors together. The next one is, um, this is a landscape in the Tetons, and it's in July. Everything's green. The mountains are more blue, um, a bit stronger blue to a, a muted blue, so blue and orange, and then blue and yellow. Um, very limited colors here, so I'm, I'm using a, in my painting I used a color scheme of, um, did I use yellow, orange, and blue, violet, and green, violet. Split complementary. Um, so the yellow, orange, and uh, blue, violet give me my more yellow, greens, they're, but they're different than uh, blue and cad yellow or cad yellow and blue because I'm using tertiary colors. I'm using yellow orange and uh, blue violet and it gives me a different feel in my yellow greens uh, when I mix those two together to, to make kind of a yellow green. It, there's orange involved and it just mutes it a bit more and again I'm thinking outside the box. When I look at the photograph if I'm geared towards copying I'm gonna get uh, bored real quick and I'm going to end up with an extremely green, the bluish green painting. Very monochromatic. So if you have a good composition and a reference, good lighting, but the color's not good, change the color scheme. And um, when I work with these, I, I tend to... Um, oh, there's color wheel. I tend to... Uh, think in terms of what colors would best suit the, the scene that I'm looking at in the, in the uh, photograph. And again, I'm thinking more value anyway. So whatever colors I use, it's going to get me away from the photograph and again, help me mix certain colors on the palette that I don't ordinarily deal with together. And when I use color schemes, again, it's, it's, it's always an exercise, it's practice, um, which usually they turn out better when I'm thinking in those terms anyway, thinking in terms of just practice, something I can scrape off and not worry about, usually turns out better, but I'm, I'm usually working small. Um, this one was a 11 by 14, which isn't all that small. Uh, this was a 9 by 12. 
But if I have a reference where I want to try several different color schemes to see which one works best, I'll do 6x8, maybe 8x10, or even 5x7 in that range of size so that I'm, I'm, um, I'm working smaller so I can get bigger shapes. Can't, I don't want to mess with details at all. I just want simple shapes of value and color and see which one works best. And I'll spend maybe 20 to 30 minutes or maybe 30 minutes to an hour of getting the colors blocked in. Then I get a good feel for how they react with each other and which ones would work best in a, in a larger painting. Um, in a larger painting, I might cheat with the color scheme. If I'm doing a 30 by 40 of a secondary color scheme like this painting, I'll block it all in with the three colors secondary colors and then um, add a few others as I break up those colors, those bigger shapes. But not too much. I will stick with this as much as possible because uh, it really helps the colors harmonize. And again, gives you a totally different feel than what the photograph gives you. And um, the important thing is you're thinking outside the box of just copying the photograph.